Bach's famous cycle of six sonatas for violin and harpsichord was a groundbreaking invention of a new form. Here, the violin wasn't accompanied by a bass or basso continuo that could be played on a multitude of instruments, but the harpsichord took up its new role as an equal partner. But did Bach really conceive these six sonatas as a cycle? Philip and I had our doubts and wanted to investigate further. We undertook research in many European libraries. Was Bach influenced by others? Did his contemporaries in Leipzig, Dresden and Darmstadt compose similar works? There was a group of composers in Berlin who were great admirers of Bach and who took his compositions as models, even though around them a different style was emerging. Christoph Schaffrat's sonata reveals this ambivalence. Even if we hear light and gallant inflection on the surface, the same structural principles that already inform Bach's music are at work in the background. Our inspiration for the project was above all Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach's remark that the sonatas of his father still sounded excitingly modern even a quarter of a century after his death. One of his colleagues, the concertmaster Johann Gottlieb Graun, left us an incredible sonata which turns out to be one of the most remarkable chamber music works of the Berlin School. One of the most exciting discoveries we made during our research were the three sonatas by Johann Adolf Scheibe. Nowadays famous above all because he dared to criticize Bach for his overly complicated composing style. It isn't surprising that he gets usually downplayed by musicologists and musicians actually don't regard him at all. We were astonished about the beauty of his three sonatas that we discovered in Brussels and how much the slow movements actually sound like Bach, with a slight gallant touch. We were looking for sonatas that fit Bach's ideal of a perfect harmony resulting from artfully entwined polyphonic lines. We broke up Bach's cycle in order to present three recitals that show how composers took Bach's sonatas as inspiration, how they gave the form their own personality and how they moved them into the future. Bach, not as end of the Baroque, but as the beginning of a new era.